good morning, afternoon, evening, whatever it is, wherever you are, whenever you're watching this. Hi. <laughs> we are in the garden. What's left of it anyway? <laughs> What's left of the spring slash summer garden? Um, there's really not a whole lot left. I didn't do a whole lot of planting fall crops. Uh, you know, we had goat emergencies and the heat and, well, all kinds of things going on. Anyway, um, so, <laughs> so it's tear it all out time, um, except for a few things that I'm letting go to seed, like, you know, my uh, ideal market beans. I love these things. It's time to stop and just let them, you know, dry up and kind of go crazy on their own so that I don't have to buy seeds for next year. These. This was my large gourd garden and I'm, I've had a few Zucca gourds that started, but they shriveled up and died on me. I don't know whether bugs got to them or what. I have something going on over here. Let's see, tilt the camera. Right there, and I'm not sure if that's a bushel gourd or a Corsican gourd. I'm thinking it's probably a Corsican because it's not really getting much bigger. It's just kind of sitting there maturing. Um, a bushel gourd is huge, but a Corsican is kind of a, a bowl size, so you know, medium sized bowl. So I'll be excited when that dries up and I get to cure that. A little bummed that I only got one, but hey, you know, it is what it is. And then I got one here. <laughs> I'm not really sure what it is. It, I know that I planted speckled swan gourds, but that doesn't really look like what it is. I'm not sure what else it could be. I looked at all the varieties that I put in here and I mean, that's the closest to what it looks like, but it doesn't have any kind of a neck on it. So, I'm really not sure what it is. Anyway, the, the plants are really healthy. As you can see, they're just taken off, but we don't have time before frost for anything to produce and get really big or mature. Um, I got <laughs> two pumpkins that I've already just harvested today, and then we have this one left here that should be fine. And then we've got a couple little ones that I don't think are going to make it to maturity, but they might. There's still hope. So, I'm leaving those alone. Uh, these are still going strong. I'm pretty happy with that. Mostly my trellises are what's still got things on them. <laughs> Everything else is kind of getting torn out. We pulled out all the tomatoes in the last few days. Let's see, what else do I have going on? The zinnias are still looking very pretty. <laughs> I'm growing red noodle beans this fall for the first time ever. We just tried those the other day. And uh, they are a whole lot like a regular green bean, except for, I mean, aside from the size, um, except they're really sweet. I keep reading about, um, you know, re reviews on them, and people are talking about how they don't ever make it into the kitchen, because they eat them on their way or while they're walking through the garden. And I was like, really? It's a bean, you know? But they're really good. They're really good, just fresh, or um, we sauteed them in butter with a little bit of garlic, and they were really, really good. So I highly recommend growing those. <laughs> they're very good. They're a, they're a trellising bean though, so I'll be sure that you have a good trellis for them. But aren't they pretty? I mean, they just I love everything about them. They have really pretty flowers too, which I don't think I see up here right at the moment. But yeah. So we have those going on. We have some uh, cucumbers that made it through the heat. And that is about it. That's about, well, hang on. We got corn. <laughs> it is my biggest fall crop that I put in this year. And actually, I put in just like a handful of plants in the spring and the chickens got to them. So I, this is all the corn I'm getting. So, oh, pray for me. And we got a few of these little patty pan squash. Which, this was the first of all of them that I planted, um, all the transplants, you know, that I started from seed all went in at different times. <laughs> so I'll tell you, it, it makes a difference how soon you put it into the ground as far as how quickly you will get fruit. <laughs> that one at that end went in a week before this one down here and you can see that it is way, way tinier. And then the other ones in the main garden went in after that, so they're really, really tiny. I've had another year of unsuccessful lettuce growth. 
It is beautiful, but it is so, so bitter. These zinnias look pretty though. So that's it. That's the garden this year. Uh, when those plants peter out for the year, I will be done. And I, um, <laughs> I'm excited to show you what we've got for next year. I've already got the entire garden for next year planned out, mapped out, it's on paper. Every single plant is numbered, accounted for, and planned right now. So that video will be coming up soon. <laughs> Pretty excited for you to see that. Anyway, have a blessed day guys.